What's up, guys? I'm Jarrett. I'm Gary. We're from Bowling for Soup, and... The, this is the early years. Well, actually, what comes to mind to me is Gary's first show with Bowling for Soup. That was um, a doozy. Yeah, we, um, we got together about three times before that show, and each time we'd play one song, and then we'd go sit outside and order pizza and drink beer. Each time we played the same song. Yeah. So, for my first show... We loaded up in the van and drove to Nashville, Tennessee. And 15 hours. 15 hour drive. And uh, I had only played one song three times. And so each song Jarrett would announce, hey, this next song, so-and-so, I'd wait for him and be like, come over here. How does this song start? <laughs> and then he'd go, ba na na got it. And then got I'd it. count it off. Here we go. Uh, my first ever band practice, I remember um, I was playing drums. And it was really just like a bunch of kids from school that had guitars but none of us really knew how to play any songs uh so we worked up the intro to heavens on fire by kiss and um i think that's about all we knew for about a year and a half yeah my first band practice pretty similar uh we would just work up like helmet songs or something like that and it was probably until like our third or fifth somewhere in their practice that uh we figured out that not only are the guitars supposed to be in tune, they're supposed to be in tune with each other. <laughs> uh, for me, it was drums. I, I started out on, I, you know, I started out on drums, played drums in school, and then everything else just picked up along the way. Yeah, whenever I was in junior high, my best friend and I were going to start a band. Uh, one of us was going to play drums, one was going to play guitar. And it just so happened that his aunt had a guitar he could borrow, so I had to learn how to play drums. Uh, my musical heroes growing up were, were definitely Motley Crue, uh, and I have met two members of Motley Crue. And, uh, but I did ride on an airplane with the whole band one time, so I feel like that counts. Yeah, so, I mean, different stages, but um, I was way into Guns N' Roses whenever I was first starting to, to learn how to play, and even before then. I've never met those dudes. Um, but then later, like, my heroes were the Descendants, and I've, I've got to meet almost all of them. Yeah, that's a weird one, because, like, the Descendants is sort of, like, where the whole idea of Bowling for Soup comes together, and um, so they would definitely be this all of our heroes collectively and yeah i mean we we're lucky enough to even call those guys friends which is awesome um yeah i, I can actually tell you a good one for bowling for soup and then we can rewind a little bit as far as band names are concerned um we were going to call our band rubberneck but a band called the toadies released an album like right as we were about to play our first show and their album was called rubberneck so um <clears throat> It came down to either Sizzle Chest or Bowling for Soup, and Bowling for Soup seemed <laughs> seemed to be the better one. But it stuck. yeah, I, but I was in a band called uh, Tear, but uh, everybody thought our band was called Tear because uh, it's spelled that way, even with the little teardrop on there. And then I was in the stereotypical Foreplay. Uh, every I think everybody is in a band called Foreplay at one point or another. <laughs> And uh, I had a band that uh, Chris Bernie, our guitar player, actually recorded us, and we had a show coming up, and we didn't have a name, and he just named us. He said, "Y'all are going to be Gary and the Wiseman," and it stuck. His last name's Wiseman, yeah. so Gary and the Wiseman. Yeah, 